Just underway, a ball and two strikes from Musgrove to Lamont Wade Jr. The big right-hander ready. Pitch on the way and a curveball grounded to the right side. Cronenworth to his left. Diving stop on the grass. Gets up. Throws to first in time. One away. One and two. The pitch coming. And a swing and a miss. Joey Bart strikes out. That's the first for Musgrove in Padre Brown and Gold. And six up, six down. Two perfect innings in his Padre debut. Middle of the second. Two nothing, San Diego. The pitcher hitting in spring training. Doesn't usually come until later in March. 0-1 pitch, granted right off the side of the mound into center field. That'll be a base hit. Might find the gap. Grissom's going to go first to third, and the throw comes into second base and now gets away behind the mound. That will put Fernando on second, and that will get Grissom home with the first run of the night. Lefty, lefty with Tatis at third base. Hosmer at the dish, and Menez first one is a high chopper to first base. Ruff's coming home. It is not in time. The throw to first is in time. So Hosmer is out. Tatis scores an RBI ground out. 2 nothing San Diego in the first. One out, nobody on. Here's the one and two from Pomerantz. Swing and a miss. He was very, very late on a fastball. Just like that, two outs, bases empty, and the number nine hitter, Will Wilson, coming up. Positive as the outcome, but again, the Padre bullpen to, the, to a man was terrific. Ball and two strikes, Pomerantz comes home, swing and a miss. Got him with an elevated fastball, and a two strikeout inning for Drew Pomerantz here in the top of the third. Be a little bit different than in the big stadiums. So we'll see, swings here, and ropes one out towards the left center field gap. Eyes are working just fine. Fernando is on his horse. He's going to round third and head home. Manny's into second with an RBI double, and the Padres make it three to nothing very quickly here in the third. And this will presumably be more accurate. Here's a 1 1. Grisham rips it out towards right center field. Really well struck. Wade on his horse, going back, will not get there. And it's up against the wall for extra bases. Cronenworth scores easily. Pro far behind him. There will not be a throw to the plate. Grisham standing at second with a two-run double, and the Padres are right back in front, five to three. <laughs> I was wondering why you were staring at me for so long there. <laughs> One, two, stroked up the middle, off the glove of the shortstop, Dubon into center field. Castillo's going to go first to third, and back-to-back two-out singles. And put runners on the corners for the Padres here in the fifth. A couple of other changes uh, for the Giants as Cronenworth rips this one into right field, a leadoff base hit. Jake flew out to right his first time. He singles to right here to start the play. And a man on for Austin Nola. Cronenworth, Jay Jackson trying to work a 1-2-3 inning. And a slow ground ball to the right of the mound. Charging into second baseman, Crison has to hurry. Throw to first, not in time. Jake Cronenworth beats it out for an infield single. Who checks Hassel and delivers. And that one's hit really well out to deep left field. Ramos going back, looking up. It's going to go. A two-run home run for Eggy Rosario. His first of the spring, and the Padres extend the lead 7-3 here in the sixth. I continue to be impressed by a lot of the young guys that are getting opportunities. Whether it's Rose Marcano already 3 out of 7 on the spring. He's done a nice job. Swings to the first pitch and hits it out to very deep right field. Duggar going back, looking up, going to go. Two-run home run for Tucupita Marcano. He jumped on that offering from Alvarez and a two-run homer for a second consecutive inning for the Padres. Now 9-3, San Diego in the seventh. I'll say it again, these young guys continue to impress and more importantly, continue to take advantage.